Hey guys, welcome to another lunchtime review. Tim, I tried this Poppy's Polish style pierogies. These are the potato, four cheese, and sour cream. And this one is the potato and cheddar cheese. We bought these at Meyer. They're $1.69 a, a bag. And I don't think that's bad at all. There's quite a, there's a, but I mean, uh, in there. But anyway, they, uh, you can do them on the stove or you can do them in the microwave, which is good for us because we don't do stoves. We do only microwaves. They are frozen. There are 10 ounces or 280 grams per bag. And, and this one's 13 ounces or 368 grams in that bag for the cheddar. So um, let's talk about this one first. This one is the uh, potato, four cheese, and sour cream. Let's see. There's 1.8 servings per container. Five pieces is 270 calories, or you can eat the whole container basically for four, about around 480 calories. And here's the other information for you if you want. And then this one is 250 calories for five and 570 calories if you eat the whole bag. And cooking directions, I'm pretty sure are the same. Eh, a little bit different. No, they're pretty much the same. So if you do the stove top, you just add it to boiling water, simmer for three to four minutes, and then drain and serve. The, the microwave directions are, um, due to difference in the microwave cooking times, they vary. You're gonna place the frozen pierogies in a microwave safe dish and cover with hot water. Microwave high for four to five minutes. And again, it may be a little different depending on uh, how your microwave is. So I've just got a, a bowl with um, water in it. Let me get a pair of scissors. And since these don't look any different from each other, I'm just gonna have to try them out, basically. <laughs> okay, so this is what they look like. So I'm just gonna put, I'll put four of each one in here. And like I said, they, I can't tell what the difference is between, they don't look any different. So when I try them out, I'll just have to, just have to figure it out. Okay, so I'm gonna get this in the microwave and microwave them for probably five minutes because I want them good and hot and I'll be back. All right, so here they are out of the microwave and um, look at these tongs. I'm gonna, some of them have an orange, that didn't, didn't work well at all. Um, some of them have an orange tint to them. Like these have an orange tint. It says the orange. Uh, and this one has an orange. So I'm assuming that's the one with the cheddar, and then these are the, it's the regular ones. These are my, these are actually toaster tongs. They work pretty well. They work decent. I won't say they work really well, but they work okay. I'll just end up flicking them over. Okay. If you can grab them with these, they work pretty good. But all right, so I'm gonna get these over to the table and I'll be right back. I'll tell you what, before I go to the table, let me cut, um, let me see if I can find, let me cut one that looks, doesn't look red and one that, I mean orange and one that looks orange. So this is the non-orange one. You can kind of see what it looks like inside. And let's see, here's an orange one. They're somewhat hot, they're not super hot, but they are, they are warm. Now there's the one that looked orange, but I don't see any orange in there. So anyway, I'm going to get these over the table and I'll be back. All right, I know you're supposed to have some kind of sauce. I don't have any sauce. I'm just going to eat them by themselves. So let me try them. Try the one that looked kind of orange to me. That is definitely the one with the sour cream in it. Because you can taste the sour cream in the potatoes. It kind of like... It has the texture of uh, mashed potatoes inside of like a pastry, which is not bad. And then the, the potatoes themselves, the mashed potatoes, um, it tastes like a, a garlicky sour cream potato, which is actually really good. The, the dumpling itself, the outside is a little, um, a little chewy, not like hard, but just like a little tough. The second one's a lot plainer. It literally tastes like, like raw potato, which is not nearly as good. So that one I'd probably skip. That one was just the, the potato and cheese one. 
But the one with the sour cream is really, really good. I like the flavors of that because it has a little onion and, and uh, sour cream flavor. Yeah, the one with just potato, it's pretty plain. But I really like the other one. Tons of flavor. So, I'm going to give the one, the uh, just the plain one, the, the potato and cheese. I'm going to give that one a two, honestly. It's, it's so, it just tastes like potato to me. It's not bad necessarily, but it's not very flavorful. Um, the other one has quite a, a good flavor to it. I think if I had sauce to put these in, they would be better. Because um, even that one would be better if it had a sauce to it. Then you're really judging the sauce more than you are the program itself. So, um, the, the one with the sour cream in it is really, really good. I like it quite a bit. Um, the, the outside's a little chewy, a little tough, but not really bad. So I'm gonna give it like, I'm gonna give it a four because I do enjoy the flavor. I really do like that oniony sour cream flavored mashed potato kind of flavor. Um, so I'm gonna give it a four, but the other one I give it two just because it's so, so plain. Um, I mean, it, technically it would be a three because it's very uh, middle of the road. But um, like I said, it really needs some sauce to, to to give it something, whereas the other one is, is good by itself. So I'm gonna leave it as a two and a four. Uh, make your own decisions if you want. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.